I am back in Montana. I am out today doing some rock hounding, one of my new favorite outdoor activities. And today we're looking for fossils. So there's lots of sandstone here. And I got this new pick that Nick got me for Christmas, which is, I just love it. And we're just cracking the sandstone open, looking for fossils. I already found some other cool rocks in my little pouch. Who knows what we're gonna find? It is way hotter than I was expecting. <laughs> how incredible this lichen is. There's like mustard yellow, bright orange, purplish gray, white, green. It is so pretty. This might look like an ordinary rock to you, but on the other side, it looks like someone <laughs> smeared milk chocolate on it. <laughs> Doesn't it? So that's one of the things that I love about rock hounding is like we still haven't found any fossils, but the process like makes me notice all of these details that I normally would just probably pass right by. So you kind of like slow down and you look at everything so much more and every little detail from the lichen to the colors of the rocks is like exciting. Uh, and so that's just one of the, the fun things about being out here, even if you don't find any fossils or any of the rocks that you're looking for. It's just kind of nice to, to notice everything. I think I have done it. I found a fossil. I think it is right here. It looks like a leaf. Very easy to miss, but I'm pretty sure it's a fossil. Also, it's a good thing I, I washed these jeans the other day. <laughs> Come look at this. What do you guys think? Fossil, no fossil? So after a few hours, we're pretty tired, but we did find that one fossil and I think it, it's a leaf which is pretty crazy because there is no leaf or tree around here at all that looks anything like this. So it's just wild to think about how old this was and how different this landscape was when this leaf was here. But I wanna pour a little bit of my water on it and just see if we can, you know, see a little bit more of the details. This is a fossil right here. It looks so cool. I mean, that's definitely a leaf fossil. What do you think? I would call this a success. I love a day where you're just outside and you get so dirty like this and oh, sunny. All right, let's go. Good morning. We are on our way to Yellowstone National Park. We got up at 3.30 this morning <laughs> to uh, get to the park by sunrise and just really enjoy like that beautiful morning light and also see the animals when they're usually more active in the morning hours. So <laughs> 
we've been driving a little bit. First scenic overlook. <sighs> 3.30 wake up is always, um, it just doesn't sound great, but it's always worth it when you can just get that beautiful sunrise. There's no one else around, it's quiet. And so I'm excited. We are in Yellowstone and it has been intense. We've already seen like six moose, some grizzly bears, like way in the distance. They look like tiny little dots. And we've seen tons of bison. There's tons of bison behind me. And the babies are the cutest thing I have ever seen. That's kind of the main reason we wanted to come in the spring is to actually see the baby bison. And oh my gosh, I just, it, I have no words. Like they are just so, stinking cute and it's really fun to watch them with the mamas and you know play they're like running around and playing and eating and it's just oh, the best day ever my face already hurts from smiling and it's like 7 a.m. <laughs>
we've left Yellowstone, starting the drive home. We stopped here at this beautiful spot for a little picnic. I packed some tuna sandwiches. We have some of my favorite little pretzel chips. And it's just been a crazy, fun, beautiful day. We pretty much saw all the animals in Yellowstone. We saw moose, antelope, deer, uh, a ton of bison and their babies, a bald eagle. We saw a wolf, it was really far away. We saw a grizzly bear really, really far away through someone's spotting scope that they let us use. So we really saw, oh, and a coyote. Yeah, just so many animals. It was the best day in Yellowstone. And yeah, now we're gonna have some lunch and head home. It is our last day in Montana for now, and we're going on a beautiful hike up to an alpine lake. Um, I'm a little out of breath. We just climbed from down there. <laughs> the hike should end up being between seven and eight miles. I think there's like 2,000 feet of elevation gain. So it's just like a really solid, good day hike, and I could not be happier. the lake and it is way more frozen than I thought I put my hand in it and it like my hand turned numbed immediately <laughs> it's very pretty to look at I'll have to come back later in the summer and maybe swim in it then hey darling can I tell you what's been on my mind sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Hiking through the snow like this has been so much fun because it's just like a slushy but then every once in a while you just like sink down to like pretty much my knee. <laughs> you never really know what ground you're stepping on. I wanna 